Welcome to Example Instrument 6, 16 Voices. This is actually not so much of an example that introduces quite a new topic, but it's much rather a demonstration of, you know, the capabilities of um, and the potential of using more than one voice in the Venn library. So let's get started right away. As you might remember um, from previous sessions, the Venn library comes with a default um, of 16 voices. Um, they are called instruments in, in the tone library, in the Venn library, um, and administered by the tone class. So, um, so there are 16 different monophonic sound instruments, sounding or monophonic sounding monophonic instruments. Um, and and we can we can use them to create polyphonic sounds so we can play all 16 um, sounds or instruments at the same time and again like this is this is something that um, can be used to create richer sounds or to create individual you know acting um, instruments so let's let's get started with this so the first thing we're going to do is um, in this boilerplate code I actually already included a um, a beat a beat function um, a beat object a beat <laughs> um, which we start at at uh, 120 times 3 so 360 beats per minute um, so that this one this one gets uh, called continuously and um, let's 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 do a little bit of um, of um, kind of some interesting coding gymnast gymnastics here so um, the first thing actually I want to do I, I want to um, get like a like an instrument ID so a number between 0 and 15 from the from the beat counter. So if we use the beat count like this and use our famous um, modulo, let me maybe just print this to the console so that we can actually have a look at this. Um, and it's, it's, uh, what's happening here is now the beat counter is uh, perpetually increasing and the uh, beat count modulo 16 gives us a number always between zero and one, sorry, zero and 15. So um, so we have like a nice counting up um, that's happening here. And it's always within the range of our instrument. Um, maybe also just to check, to illustrate maybe, um, here is also a, um, we can actually get like all the instruments, like an array of these instruments and ask for its size. Um, and as I said, like the default size is um, 16. Um, yeah, some decision made somewhere. So um, if we if we now go through um, these integers here, we always have like an ID that is yeah within the range of the available instrument. So um, the next thing we um, actually are going to do uh, is use that ID that we just created and select one of the instruments. So um, we're using this here, and now, which whenever we now trigger a, a node on event, it will play the currently selected instrument. And since we are going through all sixteen instruments, um, we will then hear a. Um, Okay, you can hear a little bit. Um, it's actually not this, this that interesting because they all I trigger all of them. I triggered all of them at the same um, pitch, at the same frequency. Um, so they all sound the same. And yeah, again, like uh, it's as if like twelve voices are playing at the same time. Um, it's not really good. Now I'm offsetting this by. By the instrument ID, so which is actually like a half tone step. So um, so the first one is forty eight, the next one is forty nine, and then the third one is fifty, and so on. And then we get like this um, as if you would play sixteen keys on a keyboard of a piano, including all the the black and the white ones. Um, and that of course sounds sounds very disharmonic, but um, but you could could hear um, this already. So let's maybe maybe make this a little bit more um, interesting in terms of. Um, the um, 
in terms of uh, the, the the pitch that we're actually going to going to play and um, we can instead of just using the um, yeah the the ID as an offset we can also really just um, really use the the scale um, object and if you remember that from prior examples um, this immediately create creates a much more um, yeah, harmonic sounding um, soundscape and um, if we for example choose a scale that um, oh, sorry, I should get a note if we ch choose a scale that um, <laughs> it's hard to talk and program at the same time so if we choose a scale that is actually comprised of a of just a chord, a chord with a seven, like a seventeen in it. Um, we can um, we can kind of assume that if we play all of those notes at the same time, that it that it's sounding somewhat um, nice. So let's see. So we use the C three as the bass note, and then we use our instrument ID as, as an offset, and um, and that is already. Um, so now we are not going like. Um, stepping in half tone steps the the frequencies here but we are now um stepping through the um intervals that are defined in this scale here so let's run this and see what's happening so that sounds much nicer so this is this would be like now if you would play like a like a chord like a chord with a seven in it um, on a piano keyboard only that you are using 16 um, yeah, fingers or, or triggers to do this and um, so it'll be a lot of keys played on the piano or organ or something like this um, so maybe let's just um, let's just uh, because this is sounds really nice I think um, so every beat this will um, one new instrument is started basically but they're never turned off so uh, maybe we just um, we just add this this very easy way to to do just that. We um, ask if the instrument is playing. If the instrument that we selected here, one of the six instruments, if if if, they, if it's playing, then we um, do something to it. We're actually going to turn it off. And if it's not playing, then we are actually going to select um, do what we did before already we, we're just going to play a note from the major chord seven so let's see how that sounds so you can hear how they are all turned on and once they're all turned on they're like sequentially turned back off again and then they're turned on again and so on and so on forever forever and ever um so uh that's that's almost it um there's one little you know like i want to say like like a little bit of nice uh cherry on top that we can also do and the tone engine actually allows to uh, um, position these 16 instruments somewhere on the left to right on the stereo spectrum so we can what we can actually do now is we can um use the go through all of the instruments that are available or 16 instruments instruments tone size <coughs> so you go through all um, instruments and we can set the oops it's wrong instrument all so we select the instrument and then we can um Okay, here maybe maybe it's nice for illustration purposes. Here I'm actually getting the, the one of the instrument objects out of that array, which is similar to um, just saying instrument i, but um, we, can, we can also do it like this. It's it's a different way with the same um, like this with the same effect, and here we are. Um, we can now um, give it like a, 
a value. Minus one would be all the way to the left, plus one would be all the way to the right, and uh, we are going to distribute this in a second. Um, just um, to make the point, yeah, this is actually what I was talking about earlier. These two lines are actually identical. Most of the times I actually do it like this. Um, in this case, actually, I don't know why. <laughs> I was kind of peeking to the to the example on the left. I did it like this, but again, like the effect is the same. You get like an object of an instrument in which you can then manipulate. But uh, let's, let's stick with the, with the example. So now we have to um, find like the, get like a nice um, distribution of the, of the instrument from left to right. And um, actually multiple ways to do this here. I do this actually with a, with a, um, with a bit of, yeah, math. <laughs> We can also do it um, like this. It's good to say, okay, well, go from zero to the amount of instruments, and then we can say and map that to kind of halfway to the left to halfway to the right, and this is not necessarily interesting. And um, so we also we get like a similar effect, so that we will now have values that range from minus five to five. Um, actually, this would be more precise because we are. This is this will return sixteen, but we, but we count from zero to fifteen, which is also sixteen numbers, and um and so we get like the full range from minus five to five, and we use that to set the pan of the um, of each instrument, and let's see how that sounds. Well, here, how does it sound? Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but I hear this now distributed in the mysterious spectrum. Okay, so this, this actually shows like one nice application of what you can do with um, all these 16 instruments. Of course, there are many other applications as well. Um, and this concludes this example, and I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.